All right. I uh, made it to um, Amsterdam. Ho hold on. Let me uh, let me put on my pants. Okay, that's much better. I think for for all of us, it's. 9.48, I am 48 minutes late for my meeting, although I knew I was gonna be late because my flight didn't get until 8.45. This week, we're gonna introduce somebody new to the vlog, Bernard Moons. Bernard is a really good friend of mine, somebody I've worked with my entire career. And this week, we're gonna talk about failure. What happens when you don't get what you want? What happens when you don't succeed in a important time in your career? The path, for Bernard, like most of us, had some speed bumps. So let's get this week going, shall we? I am excited to have with me on the vlog one of my oldest friends yeah. at the firm. I have been working with Bernard Moons. Bernard is an international tax partner, now based loosely mm -hmm. in our New York office, yep. formerly of our Washington National Tax Services practice. Bernard was recently announced as the next global leader of our international tax services practice. One of the the experiences that you had when you were up for partner is that you were deferred. Tell me a little bit about you know what happened and and what was that like. I still remember I I, I got the call in a hotel room from our practice leader, John Ranke at the mm -hmm. time. It was not a message of, you know, I'm here to tell you you're done. It was very much a you know I'm I'm. I'm you know, very sorry to tell you this, but I want to, you know, to let you know that you, know, you made it really far in the process. You, know, you went through all of the approvals. It was just, at the very last minute, it was a, an overall firm decision to make it have nothing to do with you. you know, we really believe in you. And it's that, it's that support and that trust that really came through and that really okay. you know, got me through. I was at a client conference. And so I was about to get into... Um, into uh, you know social function cocktails and dinner with clients and so you know i kind of had to compose myself after the news because i was obviously very disappointed but i said hey you know let's just go in and and i you know and i went right back into it and, and uh, dusted yourself off and just put and just that happy in. face yeah, on yeah. and went back to work that's right went back to work and So I have a breakfast meeting this morning with the head of the European firm. Look, look at this city. It's just beautiful in these old row houses, the canals. Gotta love Amsterdam. Here with Viva Mabius. I either have been mispronouncing his name for the last 10 years that I've known him or getting it exactly right. But tune in to the Cross Border Tax Talks podcast to listen to a fascinating discussion about EU state aid if you're interested in wonky international tax matters. So as you look back in hindsight mm -hmm. now, 13 mm -hmm. years ago, what did you learn from that experience? How do you feel like it's changed you as you've progressed in, yeah. the, in the partnership? What I really learned from it is that every, every career has ups and downs. Every mm -hmm. career has disappointments. You know, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna hit a roadblock, you, know, you, you, know, you lose a big client or um, you know, there's just, just a you know, disappointing development. You know, Screw some, something up. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Things, things happen mm -hmm. where you're, you, you just, you're just going to have 
setbacks and disappointments. And, and, and then the question is, you know, are you long in your career or, or, or not? And, and I think, you know, it was kind of unfortunate that that was a setback that I, that I experienced at that point. Mm -hmm. But I really felt what I learned was when I, you know, looking back at the investment that I made in my career PVC, what do I want to do? And I, and I've decided to take the long view. And, mm -hmm. and I know other folks in my class who got the third as well, mm -hmm. took it differently. The other thing that I learned is that it's, it's, it's as important to, to um, demonstrate how you, you know, deal with success as you deal with, with setbacks and, and, and disappointments. And, um, you know, if, if I had gone off and, you know, to be my example, gone into this client event right after I learned and I would just have tore it up and just be, you know, completely... Uh, you know, immature about it. Well, then I think I would have sealed my career in a bad way with the firm. Yeah, you could have been emotional and yeah, shared it's, that it's, disappointment exactly, with others. Exactly, and, and I didn't. I didn't, and um, and I and I think you know the 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 maturity of dealing with disappointment and and how you deal with that. I think that that's really a, a, a I think a critical point. Um, and, and I think also just as a you know as you grow as a professional, how you deal with adverse client situations, you grow mm -hmm. from that, right? And, and you learn from it. everybody's got their own journey and I think one of the things is everything is so magnified right in your own career mm -hmm. and you think some of these that in hindsight look like small that are small just mm -hmm. bumps in the road mm -hmm. feel like major major valleys oh they do right and then it's just getting through those and then realizing that you know this was just a small speed bump mm -hmm. in this journey called life or called yes. a career yeah and just getting past that and then looking back and say, well, this made me stronger. This made me a better professional. Yeah, yeah and it also, th that's also why mentoring is so important and why having somebody in the firm that you can talk to to help you go through that and, 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 and you know, step back with you and say, well, let's take a look at where we are mm -hmm. and, you know, what does that mean? And, and you know, is this, is this really something that really should be, you should be concerned about or not? And, you know, that really helps you through it. What advice would you give to knowing what you know now to, to your younger self? Do not be afraid to take risks. When you're, when you're early in a career and an opportunity presents itself, do not dismiss it because you want to take the certain for the uncertain. As long as it's, it's, it's a risk that you feel is worth taking, just take it. You know, life's too short. Great advice. Yes. Bernard Moons, our future, is it January 1st? January 1st. January 1st will be our global international tax services leader at PwC. Yes. Quite a career. Bernard, thanks for taking time to Thank join you, the Doug. Doug Coney Thank Vlogs. Great. Thanks.